hello guys i welcome you back to join graphic tutorial so in this session of tutorial we are going to learn how to create different types of church backgrounds in photoshop so before i begin with i just want to mention some of the types of church backgrounds that most of the time graphic designs used to create so the first type of church background that most of the times people used to design is the light and deep color method and the second one is the um, color matching method and the last one is the blurry method and also we have different types of church background making but with this one i just want us to go with these three types of church background so first of all let's go inside in making the first type of church background so first of all let us create a random background so i will just go to my new file and let us set the width to 2000 so let's set the width to 2000 and let's set the height also to 2000 then let's make sure that the resolution is 300 the color mode is rgb color then we we'll hold on and type our create so after um, we have created our document the first thing that you need to do is to go to your view and go to your guides and go to your um, new guide layout so actually this will help you to know how um, you can place your test so that everything that you do is in alignment so this also help you um, to create tests that will be in the right position so that you will not get an unbalanced work so you just apply your guidelines then you go on and hit on your ok so after you are done so the first thing that we are going to do for our first type of church background is the light and deep method so this is very simple so first of all we will just go to our um, panel here and go to our color so we have a lot of colors here a lot of colors here so the deep and light method works like when you pick a deep color then you pick its light color you pick a deep color you pick its light color when you pick a deep color then you pick its light color so that's one way that we use to create a church background and this doesn't only goes with only church background it goes with all at least uh, most of the times almost all the flies when you pick the deep a deep color then you pick its light version so for example when i pick a deep blue color i can pick a light color then i will mix them for my background so let's 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 try one so for example let me pick um, a deep blue color something like this so i can just go on and hit on okay so after i'm done with this i will just go on and go to my foreground color so because i've chosen a deep blue i just want to choose a light blue version of the deep blue so i will just go here and pick this light version then i'll go on and hit on ok so after i'm done with this i will just go on and hit my gradient i'll just create a gradient for it so there's one way that we use to create a church a, a church background or most of our backgrounds that we are making so we can go on and go on and make a lot of examples so let me let's choose another example so let me pick a very deep red color so i can go on and um let me delay this gradient then let us choose a light red color or uh, something like this a light red color so something like this so i can hit my gradient like this very nice and very very amazing so these are one of the touches that we use to create a very colorful background choosing a deep version of the color then you choose you set a gradient of the light version of the same color so after you have done with this you can apply your images and all your stuff that you just want to do then that's one simple way that you can use to create your background so after you are done with this you can go on and bring anything that you just want to add to it so let's go on and bring something like um something let's bring something inside so you can just bring this image inside then you can choose uh, um, uh, something like um, overlay or something powerful to it um, 
then there you go so you can just add any background that you just want to add to it to make it more nice and amazing so you just select it then you clean the sharper part of the image then you see that it has blend perfectly with the background then you start from there then you build a very nice and amazing flyer so this is the first method that we use to create um church background or some of the backgrounds that we have been making so let's try another example so we can try another example so let's delete all these layers then let's um, create another deep version of another color so this time i'm going with a green color so i will just pick it very deep or dark green color then i will set a gradient a very light version of that same color so let's pick this some something like this very nice and amazing then we'll go to our gradient then we set a gradient for it very nice and very amazing so you just pick a deep and a light version of the same color then there you go you can add any image that you just want to add to it then you see that your background or your design is will be looking so amazing and beautiful so now we can go on and add some images to it so let me add an image like and uh, this to it very nice and amazing so i can just add this image to it to make it more amazing and very beautiful so you can see it very nice and amazing so something like this is actually cool and very beautiful so you can just go on and select the image then um, you rasterize it then you clean the sharper parts like this very nice and amazing then after that you can add some images and add to it to, so that it will look more amazing and beautiful so we can go on and add um some images to it so let's add also um, something like um, this also to it we can also add something like this also to it to make it more nice and amazing so we can just change the option to something like an overlay or you can just go for depending on the option that you just want to do so let's go for soft light something like this and we just choose our brush we clean this sharper parts so there you go so you will start from this then you will just be creating whatever that you just want to do very nice and amazing so let's go to the second type of um, church background making so the second type of church background making is color matching so this is very simple you pick one color which matches with the other color then you join them together on the same background this is very simple and very cool so let's try some so first of all I just want to pick a color like um, um, a color like a very deep brown color a very deep brown color like this so let's set our color here yeah, so I'll go here and select my solid color then because I just want a color that matches with this deep brown color I just want to pick a a color like a yellow a yellow color so let me pick a yellow color like this very nice and amazing so i just go to my gradient then i'll set my gradient so you can see the color matches very perfectly and very nicely so this is another way of coming together with a powerful church background or any background that you just want to make so you pick one color that matches with the other color so we can go on and go on and be matching a lot of color which matches with each other so we can also go on and choose a color like um let's choose a red color or we can choose a blue color like this a very deep blue color then we'll go on and choose something like um something like pink or something a color like that so let's choose a pink red color it matches very perfectly with a deep blue color so we can go on and select our gradient like this very nice and amazing 
so you can also use this to also create a very powerful and nice flyer so you just pick one color that matches perfectly with the other color then you join them together on the same flyer so with the gradient star you can also change um, the linear to radial so that you can have a very nice and amazing depending on how you just want it so with this case i just want us to apply the linear star so this is how it this also works so with this one you can also be adding any image that you just want to add to it so let's go on and add an image to it so you can just add this image very nice and amazing then you change the blending option to something like screen then you start to clean the sharper parts like this have you seen very nice and very amazing then you go on and bring another thing also inside so you can decide to bring something like a sky also into it at the top one so we can also bring the sky also to it very nice and amazing so we just change the blending option to something like um overlay or something like that you select and then you clean the sharper part of the image something like this so there you go there you go so you can see that our flyer is taking a shape so that's how we most of the times create um, our flyers you just pick um, some two colors which matches perfectly with the other then you just combine them together then you create so let's go to our last one our last way of creating a church background now the last um, the last way of also creating some of the amazing flyers backgrounds that we have been making is the blurry method but this one doesn't work with colors you just pick an image then you just blur the image to form a background so let's try for example so i will just go straight to my file here then i will just go for something like this then i'll make sure that it takes the entire background like this then after i'm done with this i'll select the image go to my filter go to my blur then go to my gaussian blur so on we go i'll just blur it until it forms part of a background so we can go on and also go and pick another image that we just want to blur so let's go on and take an image like um something like this then let's spread it across the entire background so after we have spread it we just go on to our filter go to our blur then we can also choose a motion blur so this is also one way very nice and very amazing so look at how it is looking very nice and beautiful background so you can just select it and also add another background to it to make it very more cool and amazing so i just want to add this thing to it let me see how it is going to look let me play it and see how it is going to look Mm, it is not all that bad it is not all that bad so you can just uh, be using this thing i think it is also cool so you can just be using this method to create a lot of church or flyer backgrounds that you just want to create i just want to thank you so much for you guys for supporting me now i just hit one key and i just want to thank you so much for your love and your support each day so we are going to meet the same time again and if you haven't subscribed to this amazing channel i just want you to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content bye bye